it's its own challenge. Just keep in mind with ADHD kids, I'm going to say the one very important rule that is especially important for, te- for, for educators, also for parents, but educators in, in particular, but, and that is that if it's a truly ADHD child, which, which is a, it's a neurological um, disorder, it's not, a, it's not a personality disorder. It's not a, it's not a disorder of the Yitzhahara. It's, it's a neurological disorder. It means that they don't think before they do things, their mind races. They're not, they're not planning. They don't plan very well. It's executive functioning um, capacities. They're not so good at that. They're disorganized. They don't plan well. They don't think ahead of time so easily. So they do things that are either very stupid or very dangerous or even very hurtful. And when we assume intentionality, we get into big trouble. What that means is, I assume they intended the consequences that came out of what they did. Once we assume intentionality, it becomes very personal. Then you punish them. And then it's chutzpah. And then, and, and, and then battles take place. And they get thrown out of school. And all kinds of terrible things. And what ends up happening is, and this is a very, very unfortunate consequence of ADHD, is that what started out as a kid who's a good kid. And I have to tell you, I've worked with many, many ADHD kids over the years. I used to do school-based services for OO back in, in Muncie years ago. And you know, the kids, a lot of the kids, they felt bad what they did. They felt bad. But each time they got punished for it, each time they were made out to become bad kids, at a certain point in time, a shift happens where they do start to become defiant. And either they become defiant or they get depressed. Or both. So we have to be very careful when we handle them because um, if you assume intentionality and it becomes the power struggle, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't always play out very well. And the parents will sometimes say, well, you know, I don't want any medication because the medication is not good for them, but if you don't handle the ADHD well in the early stages, the medications go from the ones that are pretty benign, which is ADHD medication, to uh, depress- antidepressants, which are more complex. So it's good to deal with them early, understand them, all kinds of strategies that are out there to be able to work with an ADHD child. There's, there's a lot of books about that one. You know, there's a lot of books on ADHD, good books on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's more to say about it. But I just want to say that's a very important nakuda, a very important point to be making, that it's don't assume intentionality. Uh, they don't need punishment. They need, they need skills. They need tools. And they need a lot of patience. But ADHD kids, if you handle them right... And you have a big, you have a long-term look at their life. They're usually the movers and shakers of the world. Think of the most successful businessmen that you know, who are all over the place, and they have that office manager that, that reminds them, you also have a schedule, you know. Like, someone's there to anchor them, but it's their ADHD that, that, uh, that is largely the reason why they're successful. They take, take risks, they, they can do a lot of things, <laughs> And, but they usually have somebody alongside them that is their executive functioning self.